look at this this came in the mail a couple of days ago thank you Joanna Besford for sending me your latest book how to draw inky wonderlands and with this book came a lot of beautiful things she wrote me a nice li little note and this is something I think I should hang it in my Christmas tree there's no Christmas tree yet but it is coming in a couple of months very nice and um, a set of pigment liner pens and I'm familiar with these pens I've been using them for years now and I love them so thank you thank you and uh, more came in the mail look several thickness of the pens uh, the point 0.8 is the thickest one and the point 0.05 is the thinnest one I normally use the point 0.05 and with this set more came of course the book how to draw inky inky wonderlands but uh, there was something else layout paper I've never used it I have a different type of very thin paper tracing paper it is called and this layout paper is also very thin and it is meant to do tracing <laughs> let's take a look at the book at the inside again Joanna Besford did a beautiful job the book looks inviting the paper is good thick wonderful for coloring look she made she wrote my name create happy that's her slogan for this book because her intention is to uh, to spread the joy of drawing and coloring and painting and making your own art so this is the beginning of the book an introduction a couple of tips and tricks Here are the materials that you could use, like pencils and pens and uh, an eraser. Eraser is always handy. Very handy. And here is the first, the first uh, page with the drawing tutorials and uh, it looks very inviting and when I take a look in in the book here we have a beautiful page with uh, a tutorial how to draw butterflies oh that's great leafy bugs beautiful I like those little critters and an owl that looks quite intimidating but I think we can handle that and a crab nice very nice this is uh, more materials that Joanna sent me it is a uh, an eraser two pencils and uh, some extra things to fill the pencil I don't know the words here is a sheet of tracing paper and I'm going to uh, to give it a try I'm going to do exactly what the book says so the first thing I need to do is to draw two circles a small one and a bigger one around it and then the second step is to make four tiny petals and when you work in uh, graphite pencil you can always erase your mistakes 
and if it becomes too messy you can just place a sheet of tracing paper on top of it and pick the lines that you wish to uh, that you wish to uh, use and the other ones you just leave leave behind so here we go for the other petals ah oh, this works pretty well look at that and we have a flower but this is a tiny more little bit more complicated flower so let's see if we can do step number four also the larger petals and I'm just messing around now and um, well this is going to work out I'm sure about it look just messing that's no problem it really isn't just trace the lines you like most and then you're just okay to clean up the stuff a little bit more I will uh, erase some lines that I don't wish to uh, use I really like this pencil I'm going to use it very often, I'm sure of it. It's called a Star Stadler Mars Micro 0.5 millimeters. Very, very nice pencil. just placing the final dots well now I'm going to fold the paper so I will have a clean sheet of paper when I'm finished with tracing with a 0.2 Stadler pigment liner pen I love those pens. I made, uh, I even made um, architectural drawings. When I was still working as an architectural engineer, I used these pens for drawing uh, floor plans and other types of. Uh, architectural drawings so I've been uh, using these pens for a long time and I love them here comes a large petal and another one I'm just tracing what I see below And I think I'm about to finish my very first Joanna Besford flower. And I have to say, it feels great. It's really nice. This is really nice. It's nice doing it. It's nice finishing a flower. So let's try again on this page. Let's go, uh, let's step up a level. <laughs> Oh no, this is not going very well. Erase everything. That circle is too small. So I'm starting with the 
bigger one right now that's much better that's much better yeah and I'm just following the same process as I just did on the tracing paper the first time I drew this this flower it felt like it was quite a complicated process but now it feels quite easy and as you can see not all the lines are perfect but I don't have to draw all the lines perfect that will it will be all right I can just erase any any line I don't wish to use Here's that point two pen again. Here we go. Oh, I think it would have been better to use a, a thinner pen, but I will uh, continue with this one. Well, almost finished. Those last stripes and then an eraser. I let it dry for just a couple of seconds and then eraser. And here we have my second Joanna Besford flower. Wow, feels so good. Let's do some coloring. Prismacolor Premiere Lemon Yellow. Because that is um, what I love, 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 love most. Adding color to it. Sunburst Yellow. Slightly larger, a darker color. Here we have magenta for the larger petals. Now I'm just exploring and uh, trying, trying new things maybe. So I'm not after perfection, absolutely not. Perfection does not exist. And I, I lately heard someone say a very, very wise thing. I don't remember who it was, but the person had said, winning or losing, I never lose. Either I win or I learn something new. So this person... Um, says that losing or making mistakes is the same as learning and um, that's great when you start using this book because you will make mistakes for sure and that is the moment these are the moments when you learn the mistakes so please enjoy making mistakes And always stay open, be open-minded when it comes to the happy accidents. 
because you will encounter many happy accidents and they are just the most joyful thing suddenly your pen or pencil or brush or whatever you use here we have scarlet lake produces oh i need to sharpen produces something extraordinary that you had not anticipated or had wished for to happen but now that it did it's just beautiful so stay open for those moments you never know when they come but when they come they are so it's just great The Prismacolor Premier Pencils are doing great on the paper in this, in this book. No problems at all. I really like that uh, Joanna Besford in this book invite you to do your own drawing it's really really good and um, it is it gives you so much uh, joy and satisfaction and i think you will be astounded by what you can do yourself what the creative process can offer you you only have to start the creative process. Just do it. Pick that pencils, pick it up, the pencils, the pens, and just start creating. It's just wonderful. Here we have permanent red, a slightly lighter tone. I never use only one color, only one red. I always try to mix, uh, mix the colors, use several layers of different tones so uh, I can create a little bit more depth to uh, to the drawing. Well, my very second flower, but the very first flower colored, draw myself and then colored in this wonderful, wonderful little book. I really like it. I can highly recommend this book so far. And this is just a first, first impression, but it's really joyful. Yeah. I like it a lot and uh, in the description of this video you will find a link to where you can buy this uh, this book and um, of course I will use this book in more videos and uh, well I think we can have some fun together so see you in the next video bye bye